If you would name your own pirate crew, what is it gonna be? It's so cold It's poppin', my lovely and freezing snow squad. We are back again here on the All-Star Tower defense because, oh my god, I'm so excited to do this video. We now can finally do this video because of the arrival of the god, the myth, the legend, Soga King or Usopp. But anyway, guys, yep, we are going to use only the straw hat pirates here on this video and we will be able to see guys how good this roster can be anyway guys i just wanted my soggy king to to be really prepared because he's gonna be the only one that can deal with our air troops so where is he now oh there you go i just wanted to make him like level 20 so i think it's not really gonna hurt if i would at least spend one of my five star exp units here there you go yep that's right level 20 a and that means i can actually get some free gems from that so anyway guys let's now go to the infinite mode and let's see how the straw hat crew would actually do oh nice map anyway guys before we start this madness who among those straw hat crews is actually your favorite of course, if you're gonna ask me, I mean, it should not even be a question. It should not even be a question. That's gonna be my Nami tag. I mean, if you guys are still asking it by this point, then... Dang, bro, you really need to be more active in my videos because Namite is gonna be my one and only favorite. Anyway, I think that... Wait, can we actually start with... Oh yeah, we can actually try to start with him. Let's see. Uh, would he be solid? Um, let me just check. Just Attack. Okay, he was able to clear that. Yeah, I think that I should have put Sanji first before you saw. But anyway, guys, on our intro earlier, I've already asked you what would be the name of your crew if ever you will be a pirate. But of course, you know, in real life, do not be a pirate. It's only cool in anime, but they're actually bad, you know? <laughs> so, do not be a pirate, guys. I'm just not sure about the air units, though. I think that we need to properly place our Usopp. Otherwise, we will be in big trouble. Alright, so Sanji will go here. And we need to have, like, full AoE Sanji. Otherwise, it'll be hard for us to start putting our Namite. Because, of course, guys, the most recent buff that Namite actually got was about the money that she is giving every wave. So, it was buffed. But I'm pretty sure, guys, that it would not be even comparable to Bull Mama's. Because, you know, Bull Mama is not attacking anyway. So, that would be really OP if Namite can be better, like a lot better compared to the money that Bull Mama can give. But I'm pretty sure, guys, that there will be... Actually, guys, if there will be, like, an anime character that you think would probably give some cash as a support unit here on All-Star Tower Defense, who is it gonna be? Even Bull Mama is only a four-star, she's always part of the meta because she's the only one who can give such uh, support, especially about cash. So, yeah, that's the reason why. But anyway, let me just put our Namite, maybe besides Sanji. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's make our boy Sanji happy. Alright, I'm not gonna start putting up some Namite because we need to earn some cash. It would be really better, guys, if we would not skip so that we can just max out our Bull Mama. I mean, no, no, no come on. I'm sorry, Namite. So that we can max out our Namite farm. You know, like, the more Namite in the field, the more cash that we could get. And uh, since we do not have, like, bull mama here pretty sure that we would not have enough cash to put like everything here on the battlefield and max them all out look at our boy sanji he's trying to impress namite oh my god he's gonna be one of the god sims on the anime like one of the og og who among those characters that you know guys that probably or arguably can be worse as a simp compared to sanji well i think that Sinitsu is also a simp, but come on guys, I should actually create that kind of roster though. Like only those simp characters, like literally simp characters 
that's gonna be really a good idea. I think that it was already suggested to me in my comment section that it's just gonna be impossible for me guys to create every single video that you guys are suggesting, but we already have a maxed out Namite here. That means she will now be able to give us 648 cash per wave and that would be really a lot considering that we do not have our favorite Bull Mama here on the field. So it's only wave number seven, but as I've said, guys, this is the One Piece Straw Hat crew. So I do not really want to disappoint y'all. So I really want to take this seriously. I'm not gonna click skip so that we can try to have like Max Namite as early as possible. So yep, I'll be right back. Okay guys, we now have four Namites maxed out here and it's now gonna be wave number 12. I don't know really wanted to spend some more cash because I just want to make sure that our use up would be able to hit our air units and just not sure guys where to put him to be honest but since he's not gonna be Mihawk I think that it's better to put him over here you know what it's gonna be only one so let me just max him wait do we have enough yep we do hey all right so this is gonna be his full range 50 not that bad but if I will put him here it would not be as good as what Mihawk can actually do. So probably here. I think that here would be a better one. But I think one use up would be enough for the early air units. So I'm just going to click skip. And uh, put some more Namite probably here in the middle. Come on, Captain Usopp. Come on. Oof. Dang, look at that HP. These early air units are just burning. Well, too bad that he doesn't actually give burn. If he does, then it would have been really much better. But hey, that's going to be the last... Uh, well, I believe that this is going to be the final Namite that we actually need to put. Let me just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that's going to be our final Namite to max. So that we would be able to have like a Pog money maker here. Ah, oh, bro, my Namite is just really, really insane here on ASTD. The best waifu ever. Alright, so I'm just gonna click yes because that would take ages. And we would now have a maxed out Namite on wave number 15. Okay. Alright, so the first thing that I wanted to put is probably Luffy. Yeah, I think that Luffy, we really need to have like at least... Luffy. In fact, I really wanted to focus my money to Luffy, but but I think that it's going to be a lot better if I will show you guys that I'm not only relying on Luffy 5 star cuz obviously guys, Luffy 5 star would be our primary damage dealer here because oh bro. You know what? I'm just going to put our Jin bloke here. Jin bloke will be best at corners, so I'm just going to max one. That's what I'm trying to do, guys. I just wanted to put at least one maxed unit so that you guys would not hate me for just focusing on one unit because not gonna lie it will be best for me to just maxed out maybe have maxed out eight luffy because that would definitely help us a lot on our dps but hey who cares about that we just want to have some fun max out sanji as well is now down and another one all right so we are still missing zoro bro for real guys who among you wanted to receive a five star zoro here i know that one piece characters are already super duper op here at least if they're gonna compare that anime to other animes here in all star tower defense but bro seriously zoro is my idol so i really wanted to see a zoro at least an upgrade version of zoro because they did zoro t as dirty though like for some reason zoro three star is a lot better compared to his four star version it's just about the damage but bro full aoe that's all you need all right we're gonna add some more of luffy and i think i'm just gonna put another one here there you go and also another one here oh looks so Cool. All right. Okay, we're now almost at wave number 20. So I think that it's just about time for us to add more hill unit because otherwise we will be in big, big, big trouble later. I'm just not sure where to put our 
Usopp, but I think that this is gonna be the best placement for our Usopp. Okay, let's just max our Usopp out. Then put another one. We need to have like as much Usopp as we can. Otherwise, it's gonna be GG around wave 30 or we want we might not even reach wave 30 if we would not have enough firepower to kill those air units. There you go. Third Usopp is now max. Oh bro, this is gonna be awesome. This is a pretty solid roster, not gonna lie guys. And if you're also planning to do this challenge as well, I think that it's gonna be a lot better for you to focus your money to Luffy because Luffy is the most OP unit here which is just fitting because obviously he's the captain well actually it's gonna be Yusuf Yusuf is the god okay next wave ooh we just crossed wave 20 without even a hitch so that proves to us that our boys here and actually girl is just solid by the way guys since we already know that the developers really love One Piece characters here in ASTD who among those characters on One Piece or from One Piece do you want to see, guys? Who among those other... I think that I would really want to see those um, admirals. One of my favorites is uh, Admiral Akainu. I think that we really need to have like another bleeder... Oh, no, no, not bleeder, sorry. We need to have another burning unit because it's only going to be A, Sanji, and also Natsu at the moment. So I hope that there will be like... Admiral Akainu and it doesn't really matter if he would be like OP OP because you know like he's really OP on the anime itself so but no offense guys if you actually always watch my intro there's like an admiral there he's no longer an admiral so that's the reason why I chose Akainu but it's gonna be Aokiji or, or Aokiji uh, how, I don't even know how to read that name Aokiji, Aokiji, uh, but one of his attack will be Ice Age, something like that. So, pretty cool character as well because he got ice. Okay, some air troops are now here, 1,400 only. And look at that, our Yusuf can already start firing at them. Hey, this is gonna be solid. I think that we would be able to reach wave 40, not gonna lie. Even though without Mihawk, I mean, Mihawk is not part of the Straw Hat crew, so that's the reason why I'm not using him. Oh yeah, maybe Chopper can be a buffed version of Whis, right? I think that... I know, guys, that this is not, like, the best of the best placement, but hey, I'm not gonna spend my time stressing myself just to find the best placement for Jinbei, because it's not really gonna be a game changer anyway, so... All right, so how many Jinbei do we still have to put? One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know, and because I cannot see them. <laughs> I cannot even see it, guys. I cannot even see it. All right, some of the air units are passing through, but it's just so easy for our Soggy King. Is it really Soggy King? How, how do you say that though? Bro, we did it. We just made them all maxed out and all of them are on the battlefield right now. Oh my God, this is gonna be war. And guys, it is raining outside, so I'm not sure if my microphone is still gonna be good, but please bear with me. But look at the effects, guys. It is gonna be war later around uh, maybe wave 40. Let's just skip as fast as we can because I feel bad for these units though, I mean for the enemies. Imagine that. Sanji will burn them and then all of a sudden, Jinbei would splash them with water, removing the... <laughs> oh bro. Imagine the hate on Jinbei if he's actually putting out the fire on the burning damage though because of his attack. Like, bro. Pretty sure that there, there might be some YouTube videos showing them feeding Jinbei to other units because of how bad it is. But yeah, it wasn't just a joke, guys. Even though Jinbei's attack is kind of like water-based, it is not going to remove the burning damage. So do not worry about that. Dude, look at that. I'm lagging again, but not as laggy as when Mihawk is on my roster, though, because <laughs> that color green animation from Mihawk, for some reason, it is burning my PC. Okay. Some of the mobs are already passing through. Still have some last wave of defense here. There you go. That is what we are looking for. Nice. I will have some extra cash, but I think that because of lag, I think that I would not be able to 
to sell quickly if ever I will be needing it. So I need to sell it in advance. But we are now in wave 37, guys. And look at all of these enemy. Bro, I cannot even run. What is happening to our Sanji? Yo, Sanji! Dude, look at this Sanji. This Sanji is broken. He's attacking without anything. Okay, so we got here some units passing through. Uh, is that not gonna be enough? Oh, that's not gonna be enough. No, let me sell one of my Luffy. Sell. Ah, oh, bro, this is just way too laggy. Let me just put my Luffy here. And upgrade him. There you go. The captain would not allow this run to end. Alright, so... I'm just gonna get another Luffy again. Bro, this is so laggy. I'm really sorry, guys, if the clip would make you a little bit dizzy, but... Yeah, I just need to sell Luffy as well so that we would have, like, final chance. Oh my god. Yo, Luffy, kill this. No, oh yeah. Nice, 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 nice. It's It doesn't matter. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, it's already wave 40, but bro, everything is freezing already here. Everything is freezing. Look, <laughs> Look at the sausage. <laughs> oh, dude. It's broken. <laughs> We just oh look 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 dude even the notification that i got something yo i don't even know what happened earlier but yeah we just broke the game guys we just broke the game the straw hat pirates is just really op on my astd like we literally broke the game the game engine just crashed well it didn't technically crash but you know <laughs> but anyway guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed this video please make sure that you will leave a like and of course subscribe and i'll see you guys again on the next one stay cold peace out